Hey there everyone, this is Yui. Welcome to a bonus video of FTB Academy. In this video we're going to start automatic mob farms. So let's jump into it. Alright, this is going to be a lot of information so bear with me for a second. Now to get started you're going to take one of two routes. You're going to need either the spawner changer, which you will craft like this with the empowered diamantine breaking a spawner will get you the spawner shards and then you can right click on a mob to capture it in the changer in this case I have a villager so you can get villagers like this you cannot necessarily get everything I know iron golems do not work but like I said the villagers do so that'll be useful later not in this video if you're having trouble getting them so then you take the changer, you right click on a spawner that you have not picked up, say in the Twilight Forest there's a ton of spawners to find, and it will change the mob that spawns. And once it is changed, you can pick it up using a Draconic Core simply by right clicking on it. Doing so will get you a stabilized mob spawner. The first time you pick it up, it will save the contents which means whatever mob was in it will still be in it. Now when you put it down and you pick it up again, you will get the spawner back, but you will not have the mob inside of it. See if I put it down, it's empty now. Now this leads us to the second route where you can pick up the spawners and you can fill them with souls. You get the souls by killing a monster with the reaper enchant and they will have a small chance to drop them now for the mobs I am using I'm using a pigman so I can get gold a wither skeleton for the skulls a stoneling for a ton of stuff which I'll show you in a moment a blaze for the blaze rods an enderman for the ender pearls now the caveat here is stonelings are harder to get because the pickaxe cannot use a reaper enchant. If you look at the reaper enchant, you'll see it's only for weapons. So what this means is you will need to use the astral sorcery resplendent prism with a reaper enchantment on it in order to apply that to your pickaxe. So if I'm using my pickaxe, it does not say it but it has the reaper enchantment on it because that's how I got my stone links then. So set up a farm underground, get yourself a similar prism, and then you'll get a soul eventually. Now the other thing you're gonna need are these wyvern cores. You'll need one for each mob that you want. They're made with a nether star, but you will have to fight the wither. I've shown you before how you can cheese it, and I'll show you probably another video how to automate it after we get this set up. So you're going to need these. You're going to take your spawner, which has by default the Draconic Core on it, and you're just going to right click it. It'll swap out the core. What this lets you do is it lets you spawn the mobs without being close to it. Now there is a quest in Technology Beginner. When you pick up your first spawner, they will give you an awakened core. This awakened core lets you spawn mobs without meeting the spawn conditions, say darkness for certain mobs or grass for animals, stuff like that. In addition to letting it spawn while you're away, plus it spawns a lot more. I'm not sure what the spawn conditions for stonelings are. I'm pretty sure there's a Y level restriction as they will not spawn if you just place them in a regular spawner. So I will be using the Awakened Core for the Stoneling. The rest of them can use simply the Wyvern Core. Now a Stoneling will get you all these resources. So you'll get your basic gold, iron, diamond, emerald, redstone, ender pearl, and lapis from them, plus some extra junk. I'm mainly doing them for the diamonds. So we have other ways of getting the other things, but we don't have a way of automating diamonds yet. So that's how we're going to do it. 
All right, so I think that covers everything. The next major thing to know is when you are placing them in the spawners, do not shift right click. Like I have this whole floor set up. This is just a single chunk building. So I can just chunk load one, one chunk. The bottom has all these conveyor belts. So wherever a mob spawns, it'll just get pushed up to the front here. So, but you can walk on these by holding shift, but don't shift right click. It will waste the, it'll treat it like a spawn egg. So I'm just going to fly and I'm going to fill in some of these spawners. The middle here is just stone bricks so I can replace them. I'm going to do the stone ling last. We'll put in a couple wither skeletons. Get some zombie pigmen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get some blaze going, and stonelings go there. And then get everything out of the way. Yeah, 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 I hear you. Alright. Oh no, I forgot the torches. I forgot the torches. Get rid of them. Oh jeez. Exit. Oh, it's so loud. I need you guys to move. There. All right. And I forgot one more thing. The grinder is what I am going to be using. Put all this junk already. Put all this away. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go away. Oh, wow, there's too many. Too many. All right. Okay. Good enough. So now we have a range collector from Actually Editions, which I will be using to pick up the drops. The grinder from Draconic Evolution, which will kill the mobs. Now we just need to wire everything up and we should be good to go. I have wired over power from way over there underground up to here. So that's where that's connecting to. I think I have a cable in here. We're going to use an ender chest to load things into our storage. For the range collectors, they're going to start off looking like this. We're going to change it to blacklist mode. It will pick up everything. Going to connect it. And there, all right. So now everything should be working. And now we could just back away because it's really noisy and we don't have a muffler in this. All right, now we could just check here. And these are the drops we're getting. Tons of blaze rods. <laughs> so it's not that bad. And that should be running regardless of where you are. Let me get rid of it. And that's my Gaia fighting area. I would like to note that this sheep here is a champ. He has been through, I don't know, 20, 30 Gaia fights over there. And he's just still around. All right, dump this off. Make sure it's still working. Good. So that's about it for setting up a simple automated mob farm. Yeah. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.